So in this video of Microsoft ASP.NET, we will discuss about view state in client base state management. So basically whenever we talk about view state, it stores the data in the HTML part of the web page. Means as we have already discussed like in client base, either we will store the data on the page, browser or somewhere in the client's machine. So this one will store the data on the page memory in the HTML portion. This is the default way to preserve the values of a web page by ASP.NET web pages. Every control which we have worked so far has the property called enabled view state. So that's because whenever we do a round trip means whenever we do a postback of a particular page the values of the specific controls doesn't lose. But if I talk about some other values like if I have a variable in a page or any data set or maybe any particular object which I want to preserve. So for that particular, particular purpose I can go for this view state. So as I said like the view state property provides the object for retaining values between the multiple requests for the same page means the round trip for the same page. Uh, it is a default method that page uses to preserve the page values. Whenever you write any value in a view state like you can store any kind of value into it. So the particular value will get encrypted in the base64 encoded string and in the HTML it got saved as a hidden inside a hidden tag with the name with an ID double underscore view state. So if you will store a large amount of data in view state itself it will actually increase the size of the HTML of that particular page. So even if the page is not linked with the uh, means the if even if the view state is not getting directly linked with the server side but since the HTML is quite larger it will take bit time to get reloaded in the web page. So we will have to be very careful while working with this view state and will store only that particular value which we immediately want. So let's have a practical implementation where we will implement and see how the data is getting stored in a view state in a base64 encoded string. So let's have a practical implementation of view state now. So for implementing a view state what I have done is I have taken a couple of controls like a button and a label and when every time I will click on this button it will increment the value of i which is started from 0 and then the value will be shown in the label. So let's execute and see how this process is going on. So now when I will click the button I can see 1 i was initially 0 incremented by 1 and 1 is here. Let me re-click here. And here you can see the increment is not happening. Let's see why. For that, I just put a breakpoint right here and will re-execute it. So here when I click the button, the current value of i is 0. Now, when the process will proceed, here you can see the i become 1 and it is shown in the label. When I will re-click here and to check the current value of i, here you can see i is again 0. Alright, so again it will be incremented by 1 and will be shown in the label. Means the problem is not the increment is not happening, increment is happening every time but the i is not able to maintain or manage its value. So for such things what I can do, I can just put a view state in the picture. So for that what I'll do in the first page load I'll define a view state with the name data and will store a value of i. Now every time when I'll click the button, i will take the value from view state since view state puts value of object type so that's why I'll have to type cast it here and after the increment I will store the updated value of view state and after the increment I'll store the updated value of i in the view state. So now let's execute it again. So now when I'm clicking it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on is going on. Alright. That means now view state is something which is keeping the value in the web page. And let's check it out where. So for that 
let me just first store the value here all right so now let's come to page source and here you can observe there is a input type is equal to hidden name is equal to double underscore view state id is equal to double underscore view state and here it's a base 64 encoded string you see it's just a very small value that's why this string is like that if you will store something like a data table data set or any other larger object then the size of this value is going to increase exponentially so as much as value you will store in the view state the page the html of the page will become bulkier and it will take time to get loaded over the web page or the browser so we should do a very proper planning of using a view state onto a web page at the same time if i'll do one more operation here where i will take a couple of controls like one text box from the asp.in controls and another text box from the html section so here i'll take input text so there are a couple of text boxes available all right now what happens is let me put this button after text box so as i said earlier all the controls of asp.it has been implemented by the view state if i'll come here in the property here you can see enable view state is true means view state is the default mechanism of asp.net to maintain the value in a web form for the controls it is implicitly done if i want to do it for the data like i variable which we have just taken or the data set or any other object we have to do it by manually implementing the view state concept so let's execute it and check i'll put a value in the asp.net text box and similarly i'll put a value in html text box when i'll click the button you see asp.net is still there while html text box is now blank so similarly let's do it again html click it's again lost so that is what i said like the default controls of asp.net means the server control are automatically implemented similarly if you will come here in the html text box and say run at is equal to server that means now this control is also this text box is also a server control now and now when i'll execute it the view state will be implemented on this text box as well so now when i'll click the button you see even html text box is not losing the value that means like other server controls this html text box is also implemented by the view state to maintain the value out there so now you can plan where to put the view state concept in your web application.